At midday, not too long ago, the mayor of St. Pete, Mayor Ken Welch, warned those living in low-lying areas that the time to evacuate is passing quickly and the threat of storm surge is serious. Want to get to 10 Tampa Bay's Andrea Lyon. She is live in downtown St. Pete from uh, North Shore Park, where we can see behind you the water starting to get choppy. Hey, yeah, it seems like a typical day at the beach, a little more windy than you would expect, Courtney and Josh. But this is exactly what the mayor is warning about. You may wake up tomorrow morning. It may be nice outside, uh, a little windy, but that does not mean the danger has passed. In fact, the storm surge will be coming up again tomorrow afternoon. The threat as high as seven feet high here in downtown St. Petersburg. And that just means uh, that the people in mandatory evacuation zone A uh, need to take this very seriously. The mayor urging anyone in low lying areas to get to higher ground ahead of Hurricane Adalia. And it's important to underscore that given the powerful force of this hurricane and the potential of tornadoes spawning from it, there is no safe place in a mobile home. And for those of you under evacuation orders, and that's nearly 338,000 people in Pinellas County, please seek out an area higher than Zone B, just in case the forecasted conditions get worse. Now, the city also mentioned you do not have to go hundreds of miles to evacuate. Simply getting to Zone B a few miles within the city limits will do. In fact, Welch also warned do not go sightseeing in these low lying areas because, of course, they are going to be dangerous during the storm and after the storm. Law enforcement will also be out making sure everyone is where they should be. Live in St. Petersburg, Andrea Lyon, 10 Tampa Bay. Okay, Andrea.